She really did not seem okay. It seemed like the right thing to do, promising to help her. Help her leave the country once she turned 18. That's not a crime. Help her get away from an abusive family. There shouldn't be anything wrong with that. But then she left on her own. She decided all of it by herself. Why should I be made to feel guilty about a promise I never even kept? I'm not on the list. Unless she's the one who committed a crime and I'm supposed to be the one who's covering for it. Maybe it's not about Nadia at all and I'm meant to be the bad guy for not turning a mire in for what? Selling some kind of bullshit alternative medicine that may or may not be killing people. Or maybe it's for joking about Mateo's suicide plans. Don't tell me he was ever serious about that. Oh, do I need to call him now? Why me? Why is it me to everyone's rescue all of a sudden? Is there something I actually did wrong that I'm just forgetting about? Okay. Nadia was cute. And I was drawn to her. Who wouldn't be? She was deep. She was interesting. I felt sorry for her. I felt connected. I really don't want her to be dead. But that's what happens when you let a woman get to you. She fucking ruins your life. Over and over and over again. Alina was there with me. Where even? My dream? Was this odd Mara person actually not just mad, but... Is there something to this? Should I try to reach her? What's this thing about a queen? But also, why does it seem like it has nothing to do with why I was actually there? I was fighting for her, but I was also... Just trying to get information for... Alina. It keeps coming back to Alina. But if I tell her, she'll tell me I need to see a doctor and... Why is that a problem? Why am I not supposed to do that again? Why do I feel like there is... someone else inside my head now? I'm trying to warn the queen that her most faithful warrior has already turned against her. Someone's head gets cut off. A little girl demands to learn how to fight. That's what I dreamed last night, right? Right. That's normal. Dreams are normal. Vivid dreams are nothing to worry about. Okay, Elena, you should be in a good mood now the group's gone, shouldn't you? Stop it! Why so restless? Daria's back. Mental note. Run new ideas for the characters by her. Mental note two. 
remind her not to tell anyone about Purple Archangel 983. Mental note three, stop obsessing over the fear that copying one tiny little segment from some stupid fan fiction years ago is gonna come bite you in the arse. If the Purple Angel had a problem with it, they would have come forward by now. Mental note four, check if the fan fiction site is even still up. Been a while. Mental note five. Breathe. It's all good. Time to return to real life. Time to get married. Time to let all those doubts go. Look how far you've come. Earlier this year, you were considering breaking off the engagement because you felt unworthy. And then not only did you have a great book idea, it was so great, in fact, that reality itself stole it from you. If that's not a compliment from karma itself, fuck Alina, stop feeling nervous. You can relax now. Everything is falling into place. Jesus, you're starting to sound like Hannah. Once upon a time, you knew more than you do now. Do you remember? When you were alone, you were never lonely, because you knew that your imagination could summon a whole universe of its own. What happened? When did you close the door to your very own world? Are you afraid? Afraid of the dreams you might reawaken should you choose to remember what they once were? Except, that's not what happened at all, is it? After all, all my dreams just came true. One after another. But dreams never last. When they end, they're just gone. Du bist in meine Wohnung eingebrochen, hast mich gefesselt und mich gezwungen, diese Scheiße zu tun. Das Schicksal der gesamten Menschheit hängt davon ab, wie du dich jetzt better than anyone 
how much your own darkness has served you. And I know the darkness you are trying so hard to conceal. Because here, on this side, it is forbidden. But on the other side, you knew more than you do now. This is not a memory. This is a warning. Hoy es uno de esos días. Siento pena por todos. ¿Dónde están los casos felices que me hicieron iniciar este negocio? Reunir parejas, viejos amigos, niños adoptados con sus hermanos. Siempre es gratificante. Pero esta semana... Un hijo quiere desesperadamente encontrar a su padre. Pero su padre solo pregunta por su hija, que también está perdida. Entonces el padre desaparece también. Y todos los que saben algo sobre la hija no parecen saberlo. Quiero hablar. Y ni siquiera debería importarme más porque supongo que la solicitud de búsqueda del padre está desactivada ahora que ya no puedo alcanzarlo. ¿Estoy haciendo todo esto solo para distraerme de mi propia historia? ¿Cuál es exactamente mi historia? Yo fugí. ¿Mas por qué eso importa? Embora algunos días yo aún sinta que yo preciso fugir, parte de mí está feliz por el hecho que el experimento de los sueños no haya funcionado. ¿Quién sabe para dónde esos sueños me llevarían? Um, I'm sorry. Everything has been a bit overwhelming. Um, I don't think I can make it to class this week, to be honest. And I didn't even get a chance to watch your show yet. I'm so sorry. Um, but I'm sure you did great. And I'll see what I can do about funding. Okay, I'll be right on it.
what I actually wanted to ask is, do you, did you ever, did it affect you? I mean, how we broke up, everything, was it, I mean, I think I'm trying to ask, are you okay? Don't know what you're talking about. Everything's fine. How are you? Seitdem Tori weg ist, geht alles einfach nur auf den Bach runter. Matteo redet nicht mehr mit mir oder nur mir zu sagen, dass er mir nicht mehr hilft. War Matteo vorher jemals aggressiv? Nein, nie. Er war immer derjenige, der mich runtergebracht hat, wenn wieder alles zu viel geworden ist. Wenn Tori das nicht geschafft hat. Was sie sagt, ist Gesetz. Meistens reicht das. Das passt alles zusammen. Also, Tori ist die Königin und Matteo ist der, der Krieger, der gegen ihren Willen einen Krieg anfängt, ja? Das kommt ganz drauf an, in welcher Version des Traums wir uns befinden. Wie viele Versionen gibt es denn? Das kommt ganz drauf an. Wie, wie viele, viele Menschen du in ihrer Wohnung festhältst und sie zwingst, ein komisches Wundermittel zu trinken? Ich habe dir schon hundertmal gesagt, dass ich in dieser Situation dazu gezwungen war, und zwar zum ersten Mal. Ich komme eben einfach selber nicht mehr rein. In deine eigenen Träume. Das sind nicht nur meine Träume. Ha! Also, was war das jetzt mit den verschiedenen Versionen? Naja, es verändert sich alles. Also beziehungsweise baut alles aufeinander auf. Wenn du was im Traum änderst, dann veränderst du damit auch die Realität. Matteo und Tori haben den Traum verändert, als sollen sie sich verändern. Ja, so in etwa. Wir kämpfen für deinen Platz. Hm? Mit dem Traum hat alles angefangen. Vielleicht muss ich mich einfach damit abfinden, dass ihr jetzt alle Zugriff habt und ich eben nicht mehr. <lacht> Ist schon klar, dass damit eine riesen Verantwortung einhergeht. Ich denke, es ist jetzt im Fall, dass ich den ganzen Scheiß überhaupt glaube. Ja. Ich weiß nicht, ich kann froh sein, dass du mir überhaupt zuhörst, dass du nicht die Polizei gerufen hast, weil ich bei dir eingebrochen bin. <lacht> Verstehe mich nicht falsch, aber ich bin ein richtiges Kriminelle. Bist du einfach zu inkompetent? Entschuldige bitte, dass ich die letzten 20 Jahre damit verbracht habe, die komplette Menschheitsgeschichte zu korrigieren. Du willst nicht ernsthaft erzählen, dass das ausgerechnet hast. Die einzige auf dem ganzen Planeten bist, die dieses Naturtalent zu luziden Träumen in Szenarien hat, die zufällig auch die Welt verändern, ja? Ja, ich und weniger andere. Ja, aber niemand so toll wie du! Wir haben halt alle unsere eigenen Fähigkeiten. Warte, es gibt noch mehr Superkräfte? Einmal hat sogar jemand geschafft, jemanden aus dem Traum in die Realität zu holen und den Traum so rum zu korrigieren. Warte, das wird. Das Nadja. Um. Dois. Três. La sangre fluirá en cada río de este reino y quien grite demasiado fuerte 
será ahogado en él. Nesting along deeply intertwined abodes, irrevocably synchronizing new orders to declare eternal anguish. Dutifully. Nesting along deeply intertwined abodes, irrevocably synchronizing new orders to declare eternal anguish dutifully. Hey, um, I know I don't really know you, but since, well, I can't exactly go and check on you, please, if you can, um, can you let me know if you're okay? Yeah. 
optimistic they light sights but they're night full almighty demons invert another Irrevocably synchronizing your orders. To declare eternal You were wrong, dreamer. Fate does not only lie in your hands, but it does lie there all the same. You've awoken, so the circle is neither broken nor healed. You've awoken, so it seems as though your mission has failed. Eleven years ago, you made a choice but not everyone agreed with your intentions. Which door will you open this time? And which one will you choose to close? Sorry to just drop a message like that. My name's Ivy. Not poisoned though, sorry. I actually, well, I was following Yelena and then the group got shut down and all and I tried to reach out to her to see if we can maybe keep a bit of those Lightbringer vibes going, but I haven't been able to reach her and I saw that you've been commenting a lot on her vlogs so I thought maybe you'd like to be, I don't know, light buddies? That sounds like a brand of beer, huh? Butt light, light bud. Hey, that has something to do with me too. Flower buds, and I'm flower girl because my name is Ivy. 
Anyway, sorry, is, is this weird? I don't know, I just really enjoyed watching all these people connect, you know? Like Yelena said, and now I'm feeling a bit lonely, I guess. So, yeah. Let me know if you wanna, I don't know, share some experiences or something. I'm starting to worry about you too. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry I've been... I'm sorry you had to shut down the group. Well... Well, yeah. Right, all right. It's all right. Um, everything has its natural lifespan. Um, there's no use holding on to things. Guess. How have you been? Um, better. So, yeah. have you heard from Yelena? No. Uh, I mean, I haven't spoken to her. I'm sorry. Are you alright? Yeah. I. I guess everything has its natural lifespan. No use holding on. <laughs> He seems a bit more serious about her, didn't it? We are. We are. What I was trying to say is I trust her and I can't control her. But anyway, how about you? What about your family, actually? Are you in touch with her? with your family. Um, no. What, who do you mean? Your parents? Your brother? Yeah. No. You don't want to talk about that? No. No, that's not it, I just... Well, is everything okay? Welche Farbe hat das Licht? You're wrong, Dreamer. What does that mean? I've met her before. Hannah, what's going on? Kasami. She wasn't in the group. She wasn't even here when this happened. She is not who she thinks she is. Hannah, you will have to explain that. I really thought he was the one when we met. 
I mean, the way you treated me. It was... I mean, he was a bit awkward at first. He actually barely looked at me on the first date. I didn't even really think that he liked me. <laughs> I didn't even really think that I liked him, to be honest. He's not my type at all. I mean, he's not bad, he's just... He just surprised me. And it was... It was a good time. I don't regret trying that. But now, I'm actually furious that all it takes is one tiny, stupid message. You know? One message from the man I thought I was over years ago, and here I am, like a stupid little idiot girl, staring at my phone. And again, as usual, he's not responding. And it's not. I mean, I have a life. I'm really excited about my life. I'm pushing through despite everything. I'm trying not to think about all the madness. And I'm still trying to be inspiring to some people. And I'm still trying to do my best. And I, I really thought that was enough. But now, I just never thought I'd get so lonely here. girl hung up on guy. Better than that, right? Am I? <laughs> 